Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and welcome to our weekly Tuesday tutorial. And this week I'll be showing you how to create a draggable button. Now this is a great feature if you want your users to have a little bit more fun in your application with a button which is movable. So already I have my project set up. I've simply named it Drag Button and it is a view based application for the iPhone. So the first thing we will want to do is go into our view controller.h where we'll add our IB outlet for our button. So just under the interface here, we simply type in IB outlet space UI button space asterisk and then the name of our button which we'll name it simply button, easy enough to understand and then end it with a semicolon then we can simply save that and I'll zoom out now so that's all the code that's needed in the .h and then we go straight to our view controller .m and just after the implementation here just press enter a few times there's a little bit more space and then we type in dash bracket void bracket and we're going to be using the touches moved statement so we type in touches and we want the touches move statement and then at the end of event here simply do space curly bracket and then press enter and then on the second line we do capital UI touch space asterisk my capital T touch space equals space bracket bracket event space all touches and end that in a bracket there and space any object then finish up the whole code with a bracket again and then end that with a semicolon then we do enter and then we type in the name of our outlet of our button which you named it button dot center space equals space bracket my touch again space location in view there we go and in the highlighter section we simply do self dot view and then have a bracket to close up the code and then finish it with a semicolon simply save that and if you want to pause the video now and catch up on any of the code in there that is simply all the coding that's needed so we just zoom out now and then we go to our view controller dot nib where we add in our button so then to bring up all our actions and objects to simply click on the square at the top of the grey shaded rectangle on the right all our utilities will appear let's drag this up a little bit more and we add in our button and make it a little bit bigger and I'll centre it let me click on files owner then go straight into our outlets of our button simply click and drag and then we can save that make sure you're in the iPhone simulator and we go straight to build and run now I do all problems with any of my tutorials all the code is perfect or well, if any problem does occur it can be easily fixed so just wait for the simulator to fully load up properly with our app now as we're waiting for this to load, I just want to quickly point out that the full source code for this tutorial and all our other tutorials can be found on our website at geeklemon.com. The link will be in the description below, so make sure you check that out after the tutorial. Okay then, so once it's fully loaded up, you can simply click on it as usual and you can then simply drag it around. And once you've finished dragging it, again you can simply click it as usual. And again, just simply drag it around. Click down here or at the top here. And the button simply drags to wherever you move your finger. So I hope this tutorial helps in any of your apps or projects at the moment. Make sure you like and favourite the video so you have it for future reference. Also follow and like us on Facebook and Twitter to keep up to date with what's going on with us. All the links will be in the description below as well as the links to a few of my apps which are in the App Store. Make sure you go check them out. 
and also the link for the full source code for this project can be found in the description. Make sure you go check that out. But for now, that's it this week. I'll see you all next week in the next tutorial.